year it's been. Today, we look at the top 10 highlights 2018 brought our way. From million dollar residences, high-end luxury apartments, ultra-modern gated communities, our signature bus tour, and a look at what's happening in the counties. On the accessory spot, we share interesting home solutions available in the market. The home ownership segment highlights stories that inspired us throughout the year. I think the biggest challenge was deciding on the design because uh, some things I wanted I didn't think were important. <laughs> Let's engage on our social media handles. Hi, and welcome to the Property Show. As always, there is something for everyone. has been filled with activities across the sector. And guess what? 2019 promises to be better. Let me take this opportunity to say thank you to our industry peers and Kenyans at large for voting the property show as the number one most preferred and trusted real estate show in the region. We believe it's because you, our viewers, Ask for more as the sector continues to evolve. Best property TV show of the year 2018. We all know it, right? Which one is that? Property show. What makes us tick? First, we are constantly changing and are able to capture the broad spectrum of the real estate sector. Secondly, consistency is our mantra. Thirdly, every Sunday, you are sure to be inspired, educated and informed with a holistic view of the property value chain. Finally, if you're thinking of investing in this sector, you can register for our bus tours or visit our one-stop shop. And guess what? We'll guide you every step of the way, making the process seamless. Next, top 10 highlights 2018 brought our way. The first highlight 2018 brought our way is an estate that oozes luxury, synonymous with affluence, tranquility, and security. The paddocks consist of 10 rustic homes, leaving a lasting impression. Paradox Development is a gated uh, residential development comprising 10 houses, each sitting on approximately half an acre model which illustrates the schematic view of the whole development. The Paradox Karen is conveniently located on 3D Lane, 16 kilometers southwest of Nairobi city center with first-class facilities offering a superior lifestyle. The accommodations include on the ground floor, one guest bedroom en suite, spacious lounge, fitted kitchen breakfast area, study room, large terrace with open fireplace leading to the gardens and two detached servants quarters. On the first floor, one master ensuite bedroom, three bedrooms and a family room with a fireplace, and large open terrace with railing overlooking gardens. The salient features include swimming pool, electric perimeter fence and CCTV surveillance, clubhouse, 24-hour man security gate, intercom system, two car port, beautiful landscape gardens, borehole water supply, backup generator, Cabra paved internal roads and street lighting, unique common sewer rates recycling plant and irrigation system, and solar panels.
highlight is Getanga duplexes, a luxurious New York style, two levels of four bedroom apartments in the Lavington area. The developer of this project is known for taking Kilimani to Maboko, Westlands to Imara Daima, and New York to Lavington. Let's have a look. Gitanga duplexes are a modern development located in the heart of Lavington off Gitanga Road. Privileged by its exquisite design and opulent finishes, this elegant residence offers 36 four-bedroom ensuite duplexes. Accommodation includes lower level, spacious living room, dining room, fitted kitchen with detached pantry, guest bedroom on select units, doobie area with washing machine provisions, and exterior storage for gas tanks. Upper level, spacious master ensuite bedroom with walk-in closet, two bedrooms ensuite, TV or family room which can be turned into a fifth bedroom. Salient features include two car parking spaces per unit, low maintenance fully glazed UPVC windows, balconies with panoramic views, carbon paved driveways, guardhouse, underground and overhead water tanks. Highlight on our top list is an exclusive project where you wake up smelling roses, Rose Gardens. What we knew is we wanted to build somewhere where we would like to live. Uh, okay, let's just be frank, I'm a Shags Modo. Uh, I grew up in Kikuyu with trees and birds and grass and um, I have lived in the city and I miss that. I miss that quiet, that sense of intimacy and my family, we all felt, let's do this. Let's build low rise, let's build quality, let's build somewhere that is minutes away from everything and yet somewhere that you don't feel that you're living with a whole world. Rose Gardens apartments offer an intimate feel away from the busy and noisy city life. This quality development comprises 31 units of 6 2-bedroom units, 1 penthouse and 24 3-bedroom units with a plinth area of 1,541 square feet. The project is located on Rose Avenue off Dennis Pitt Road just a few minutes away from various social amenities such as more schools, hospitals, just to name a few. Accommodation features include spacious living room with large windows and a balcony area with views of the beautiful Rose Garden, spacious dining area with large windows letting in natural light, a kitchen area fitted with upper and lower wooden cabinets providing storage space, locally made granite countertops and a space to fit your normal size cooker. The kitchen leads to a spacious pantry area, more storage space for kitchen supplies. There's also an additional balcony in the kitchen area. Vista's cloakroom, three bedrooms all en suite fitted with handmade wooden wardrobes. A master en suite bedroom with handmade wooden wardrobes for storage space and a balcony. The bathrooms are fitted with WC, a bathroom sink and high quality tiles giving it a nice finish and an ensuite DSQ. Service Apartment has been one of the year's highlights taking the market by storm. Famed for their privacy, space, flexibility, security and cost-effective rates, these apartments provide home away from home comfort with separate living and sleeping spaces, a conference room, private fully equipped kitchen, a restaurant for those who don't want to cook, as well as a gym and a swimming pool. 
Serviced apartments are designed for business travelers, holiday makers, as well as families. Let's have a look. Nabo Residences and Spa Located 1.5 kilometers from Nairobi CBD along Ralph Dunche Road is Nabu Residences. Some of the most peaceful, secluded and exceedingly well-appointed suites offer a home away from home experience. These service departments have modern, stylish and spacious rooms with contemporary furnishing giving the best value for money. The accommodation includes spacious lounge area with high quality furniture, modern spacious dining area, digital cable television, fully equipped kitchen, two bedrooms all en suite with walk-in showers, house essentials including bed linen, towels and a hair dryer, and free toiletries. Other services offered are a fitness center, a swimming pool, a world-class on-site restaurant, serving gourmet and traditional Swahili cuisine, a bar, 24-hour front desk assistance, safety deposit boxes, newspapers, free parking, balconies overseeing the beautiful environs, standby generator, personal laundry service, direct dial phones in each apartment, friendly and professional staff. The amenities surrounding Nabo Residences serviced apartments include Yaya Shopping Center and the Aberatum, a five-minute drive from the apartments, and Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is 19 kilometers away. Riata Apartments offers short and long-term stays in spacious, fully furnished and serviced apartments that will make you feel secure and at home. Located within walking distance of the Central Business District with easy access to virtually any part of the city and its surroundings, Riata Apartments provide an unrivaled combination of convenience, style and comfort that places you close to the heart of Nairobi with a touch of a distant resort free from restrictive routines and schedules. The exquisitely decorated one and three bedroom apartments provide all the comforts of home and more from internet access, satellite television and a fully equipped kitchen in each apartment to calming showers and cozy bedrooms when you need to freshen up and relax. We treasure comfort as much as you do and we're in the business of providing a soulful space for real comfort. Riata Apartments are a superbly pleasant place where you can take the time out and enjoy life's wonderful moments. Limax Suites is a classic one and two bedroom furnished apartment complex, an ideal serviced apartment that is a spacious, stylish and cost-effective alternative to hotels. It is located off Kiambu Road within walking distance of Chiata and Widris Mall. Accommodation includes spacious dining come living room which opens out to a balcony, open plan kitchen with fitted cupboards with granite countertops, bedrooms are en suite inbuilt wardrobes in all bedrooms, visitors' cloakroom, laminate floors in the living area, contemporary interior finishes. Up next, 
the accessory spot with interesting home decor solutions available in the market. There's a lot that goes into designing of a space and uh, one of them is the inspiration that you have. For example, this piece, Masala. The word Masala comes from the sunset of the southern Mediterranean and what you have at that sunset is the, like you can be inspired by the colors of that sunset, which in this case, that is what inspired us. Uh, as you can see, you have the burgundy color, and that is usually very visible during the sunset. And then, of course, the dark brown to depict the color of the earth at that time. So I'll proceed to show you a piece that is also from the Masala collection. Again, it's the continuation of the same style and the same inspiration. So you have the warm colors of the sunset and the dark brown of the earth. So here we have the Bristol sofa set. As you can see, it is a very stylish, elegant. It's very noble as well. It gives you that feel of royalty and it makes a statement. It's bulky, it works very well in uh, big spaces as well as uh, small spaces. The fabric that we've used is not very, very shouting in terms of the colors. The fabric itself is woven fabric. This one is very soft and smooth and it gives you those uh, clean curves in terms of the stitching and everything else. Now this sofa is very, very comfortable. And as you can see, the ergonomics are just right and this is what you want for your space. The loft. As the name suggests, it is a very tiny space. And as you can see, this is a very functional sofa. And picking up from what we had discussed earlier on, the use of neutral colors, bringing out the airiness of that room. As you can see, it is lifted up. It has some long legs. That is just to give you that airiness in that room so that it doesn't feel too bulky. Now for this sofa, it converts into a sofa bed. That is the main function. And again, it fits into small spaces. For small spaces, you need very subtle colors, but for it not to be very monotonous, we use like a pop of colors. You can use a blue, you can use yellow, you can use any color that just pops and doesn't compete with the rest of the space. For anyone who's looking to revamp or furnish their houses, this is my advice to you. First, you need to work with a budget. Without a budget, you won't be able to know what kind of a furniture you want to get. Also, you need to come up with a theme. Let the theme be about your personality because you're the end user. We want to feel your personality when we come into your space. Well, we are a company that uh, decided uh, many years ago in 1991 to introduce to Kenya new trends in interior design, uh, interior design as interior design tools. And we introduced in the beginning uh, moldings, and that's why we called ourselves classic moldings for architectural moldings. Break down the range of products that we can find at Classic Molding. Well, uh, moldings, architectural moldings were the first uh, tool or the first items and nowadays we keep hundreds of thousands of meters of architectural moldings, cornices, panel moldings, 
columns, and then we have natural stone. Natural stone brings you back to the Roman time, Greek time, palaces, and we, we refer to natural stone a little different than just marble and granite. It's more raw look and very classy. And then our biggest part is wall applications, wall finishes, uh, decorative paints, name it, whatever you want to name it, and it is a world on its own and it's never ending. I mean, uh, if you do walls well, it's a dream. And uh, we do wall coverings at times uh, when uh, clients desire it. Beams in the ceiling, is, uh, or the wooden beams, give a great look. It gives a look of nature. At the same time, you preserve the forests. You don't cut uh, forests and it's a kind of a recyclable material. manufacture mattresses and pillows uh, and in mattresses we have different types of mattresses. Uh, we are a pure uh, foam manufacturing unit. We manufacture in Kenya and we have uh, various densities that we offer and these densities are basically different body types because everybody's different, everybody's body is different, everybody's gone through different stages of life. So you ha we have light density, uh, medium density, heavy density, super high uh, and orthopedic as well. We are also coming up with a new range of memory foam mattresses which is our luxury range. We humans spend one third of our lives sleeping. So if that's the fact then we really need to start thinking and we, we as a brand want to really urge the people uh, of the country to start giving a thought uh, to the sleep, towards the sleep patterns that we follow. So it's very essential uh, for us to have a good mattress and a pillow. Because uh, we manufacture in Kenya, we can customize to any level. So any kind of sh shape, size, uh, thickness, in sense of variety of comfort that you want, we can do it to the T. So uh, you just need to call us or visit our factory in Druiru. We're based out of there currently, but we're, because of our wide distribution network, we're available across the country. You can just tell us what your specs are, what are you looking at, and we can, al we can also obviously recommend the special team that we have, which only caters to customized products. And uh, yeah, we can, we can deliver to you once we've got the order, we can deliver to you in another three, four days. We deliver countrywide. The accessory spot is where you'll find all ideas ideal for a home. We are taking a short break. When we come back, we'll continue with highlights 2018 brought our way. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the break. We are back, you're watching The Property Show. Satellite towns are where many Kenyans are making a home with conveniences of a city, from shopping malls, public and private schools, healthcare facilities, financial institutions, luxury hotels, and good infrastructure. Kitengela Town, one of the fastest growing suburbs in the outskirts of Nairobi, is one such town. area were a highlight with ultra-modern gated communities combining classic and contemporary designs. Royal Finesse.
I got into real estate out of passion. I love doing beautiful spaces, beautiful homes, and uh, the only reason I got into it is because I wanted to give solution to home buyers, people who are looking for homes, families who want spaces, and I felt like I could um, give them good spaces for them to live in and for their families. Located in the area of Acacia in Kitangela, Royal Finesse is an exceptional superior development in a modern gated community of 78 townhouses. The townhouses consist of five bedrooms all en suite with a detached seven quarters. Amenities include spacious lounge filled with natural light from the full length windows with beautifully designed chandeliers, gypsum ceiling, fitted curtain rods and custom paste on the walls. Spacious dining with another beautiful chandelier provided, a fully fitted kitchen with granite countertops, cookers, a microwave and several cabinets, a spacious pantry area, adobe area, five bedrooms all en suite, one bedroom on the ground floor, three on the first floor, master en suite bathroom with his and hers wash basins and a bathtub, walk in his and hers closet in the master bedroom, and a spacious bonus room in the penthouse, also en suite, that can be used as a TV room. Balcony in the first and second floor. Another interesting project in Kitengela town is Boston Estate, a fairly elegant project tastefully designed with impeccable finishes, as well as gardens. Let's see what they have to offer. Boston Estate is conveniently located along the Nairobi Namanga Road, just 8 kilometers from Kitengela Town, in a quiet and serene environment. These three and four bedroomed homes are an impressive development of 64 units sitting on 50 by 100 each. The plinth area for the four bedroom missionettes is 185 square meters, while the three bedroom missionettes is 166 square meters. Each house is fitted with high quality fittings and fixtures and all the rooms are well lit. Accommodation facilities include spacious living area fitted with large windows that allow in natural light. The spacious dining area creates an airy space with large windows that allow in light. The kitchen area is not only spacious but also fitted with granite countertops, upper and lower cabinets, the stairway which leads upstairs to the bedrooms has been accentuated by a drop-down window which offers a beautiful view and lets in natural light. The master bedroom is en suite, fitted with spacious cupboards and a large window that allows in natural light. The second and third bedroom share a common bathroom. The guest bedroom on the ground floor is also spacious enough and fitted with spacious cupboards. Visitors' cloakroom, detached en suite DSQ, utility area. Many of us imagine real estate is only buzzing in Nairobi and its environs. 2018 changed our thinking with our tour to the Western and Nanyuki region, where our hearts were captured by projects in the residential and hospitality sector, changing the landscape in those areas. Nimefurahia kuona watu wa Nairobi, watu wa Nanyuki wamekuja kuwa na sisi. Ile kitu nasema Nimekuja kuona bereni wa chamba, machamba ilikuwa na nunuwa na wase. Lakini sasa nimeona vijana diwa menunuwa. Heko. Yo nimechukuru na nionasema sasa wana mathenge. This is our assets. We are going to treat you properly. Hapa kuna wisi. 
hakuna eh, mambo ya pombe hapa wakati nilikuwa chief au nilikuwa hapo nilisema hakuna mtu atausa bangi au kuusa pombe area hii and i have maintained that uh, policy wakati huyu mzee amekuja nimwambia fuata nyayo na hiyo sasa nimesema nimeshukuru wale wamefanya hiyo kazi na ningetaka mkuje sio hata hapa barabara iko hapa sitima iko hapa sasa na rabi iko hapa na rabi iko hapa so kujeni hapa na rabi kumekuwa congested sasa kujeni pande hii mpate hewa mzuri So Neuro Gardens are eighth acre plots located in the vast growing Laikipia County with great scenic views of the Mount Kenya and the Aberdares. The property is suitable for commercial development as well as agriculture with a horticulture farming which is right opposite Lamuria town. Amenities in the area include water both piped and from the river, electricity, schools and hospitals. Mayan is an exclusive development located within the cosmopolitan town of Nanyuki, consisting of exquisite pool villas with majestic views of the Mount Kenya and Roydaga Hills. It is situated 2 kilometers off the Nanyuki Dol Dol Highway and 20 kilometers north of Nanyuki town. The objective of the Mayan development is to create a high quality fully serviced environment with a range of activities intended to attract visitors all year round. The development has a dry stone perimeter wall on the frontage with an electric fence. Each compound has a swimming pool, a children's play area, an outdoor barbecue garden area and wild manicured lawns. A central common parking with pathways leading up to the villas accessible either on foot or using golfing carts provided by the management company. Ample green spaces to be enjoyed by the residents. A restaurant designed to offer high quality hospitality services to residents and visitors. Owners have the option of turning in their villas to be managed by Falcon Heights Management Company. The residents will enjoy water parks, nature trails and a sports center offering basketball, swimming, tennis, a spa. actually one of the fastest growing cities I would say in uh, Kenya and you find a lot of opportunities there's still a lot to be done in the, the lake shores of uh, Lake Victoria there's a lot of water activities that are still untapped we have very many scenic beautiful places in this place that people don't know it is different from Mombasa you can take a boat ride to Dere you can go to Kitmika and enjoy very scenic and very relaxed views of Lake Victoria. You can go all the way to Kakamega Crying Stones, the forest. You can relax at Impara and do some takeaway from Cafe Acacia and enjoy some relaxed environment. And of course, there's a lot of other business activities happening. We have the 15 billion uh, brewery plant. We have the oil jetty for the Kenya pipeline that will place Kisumu as the oil and petroleum hub in East Africa. So there are a couple of things that go around business that will bring a lot of more business travel and above all devolution. So Kisumu is on the rise. We have a good county government working with the national government, working with the Ministry of Tourism, 
and us as private sector leaders, business leaders, we are making sure that this city, in terms of its market, it is sold out. We want people to visit, we want people to do business, and we want people to understand that it is safe, beautiful, look at the weather. Is it not enjoyable? Let's visit Kisumu. The property show has gone from strength to strength. Among our key highlights are our signature bus tours, where we visited many projects in Mombasa, Thika and Kiambu Road and the upmarket area. On the bus tour, you're sure to network, get legal and financial advice. Here is more. some very nice furnished, we saw townhouses, uh, we saw apartments in Kiambu. So it gave me a very good um, just overview of the different properties that, that are there and the different things that you can do, um, which for me definitely would not have happened if I was going by myself. I would not have been able to see those properties. One of the things also that um, for me this bus tour stood out for me is that we were able to have the different partners in the bus. Each, each bus had um, somebody from the legal side and we had a financial institution. So the idea was that any questions that you had would be able to be addressed as you're going through, as you're seeing the property. And, and, I, and I really liked that because many people sometimes um, are not very sure about what it involves getting your first property, the legal process. And even in terms of the financial, just understanding that it is possible for you to be able to afford property where you are at. It doesn't have to be very expensive. There are ways that you can go about it. The bus tour benefits me in a way that I meet also other people who are, have the same kind of dreams and we share a lot in terms of what we can really achieve. Mombasa is one of the upcoming markets yeah, in, when it comes to resident. resident. If you look at the, the trend of property two, three years ago, and you compare it to now, we never used to have traffic jam on, on, on Mombasa Road. What does it tell you? It tells you there is something special about Mombasa Road. Yeah. For other people who have not been on the bus tour, I really encourage them to really make a deal because it's one of the places you get a lot of information that you won't get anywhere. You know, when you walk in somebody's office to get information, it becomes too official. But when you do a, a bus tour, it's more of official, social, and there's a lot of interaction, and you learn a lot. I would definitely recommend that somebody comes on the property show bus tour because there's a whole range of properties for you to see from low income to high income and uh, the fact that you have both from apartments to maisonettes there's a good range of products for you to look at having the legal and also the financiers on board at, at least from the legal side we got a lot of detail as to what the process is when it comes to buying a property and even as well from the finance side we did give an, a, a, get an idea of what percentage you can be given if you're employed or unemployed so that gives you an idea when it comes to budgeting i've put the tick on some but i still like to do maybe one or more tours because I know you go in different directions of the city so definitely I look at that uh, before making a final decision. Is 2019 the year you'd like to invest in real estate? Let me share some tips to get you started. First, do your research to know what kind of property is in demand. Secondly, it's important to look at property in terms of both its rental return and capital growth. This simply means that the property should accumulate value in the long run. Thirdly,
consider buying in areas with potential developments and social amenities. Properties in satellite towns, public transport routes, and where roads and the SGR infrastructure are opening up. If you're looking to invest in a new property, it's important to conduct due diligence on the developer. This will guide you on the quality of the property you're buying. And if you're buying an existing property, they are sold as is, so beware of hidden defects you may not notice during inspection or buying process. I always recommend you obtain structural reports from a professional. Find out the main reasons the property is being sold and don't be too quick to jump into discounted deals. Finally, do not become emotionally attached to a property you're thinking of buying as an investment. Keep that at the top of your mind all the time. Next, inspiring stories on getting onto the property ladder. Buying property for any real estate, like you know, the most important thing is location, location, location. Because you can change everything else, but you cannot change the location of the property. So most important thing is the location. You have to ask yourself, what, what, why are you buying the house for? So for example, um, for mine, one of mine is going to be an investment property. So if, and most people who live in, in furnished apartments um, are looking for convenience. So my location is near, for example, the malls. Yaya Center is right here. They are building a new quick mat there. There's Adam's Arcade down here. There are a lot of restaurants in the area. So for someone who is looking for convenience, this is a convenient location. Then you have to look at the amenities. Um, here we are on Dennis Street Road, Kilimani Ring Road. Um, the infrastructure is well built uh, in terms of roads. There's good water, there's electricity. If someone had children, schools are available, many. So it's location, location, location. And that is what will determine your appreciation, your capital appreciation in the future and the rent that you get. I'm very proud because uh, when I was living in the estate, it was even hard to have your own uh, like chicken. This family, we love eggs, so we used to buy eggs. So when we came here, we decided to have a small house for our chicken. That is number one. Number two, my boys love dogs so much. So we couldn't have been able to have dog at the estate. So that was another thing. And besides that, even paying rent, the money that we used to pay rent, you, you can see you can do something else. As small as it is, you can buy something. I have learned some few things. When you're owning a home, you need some certain amount of money. I've also learned you don't have to have a lot of money to own a home. You can start your journey small. And then number thing, you don't, you don't have to copy somebody. Go your own. You, maybe you want to buy land somewhere, but you can't afford to buy land there. You can go and look for a, for a land where it's pocket friendly and you own a home. I love this home. Every time you build your first home, you just feel so good. Eh? I have bigger dreams. I want to own a very big home with a very big compound and with a swimming pool. Home ownership stories are real experiences from those who have been through the journey. If you wish to share your journey in 2019, just give us a call and I'll be at your doorstep. Thank you for watching The Property Show. The real estate sector keeps us edgy, wondering what's next. Next Sunday, I'll be sharing insights on what the future holds for the sector in 2019.
enjoy your holidays and happy happy new year as always there is something for everyone kwaheri